It was a late Saturday night. I was home all day playing Xbox, watching movies. Later that night, my ex-wife gets home. She's livid. She storms right up to me. You're a piece of crap. How dare you? I say, what? What did I do? You're effing Becca? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm looking at her saying, well, you were asking for this open marriage. We agreed to have an open marriage, but not with my friend, you piece of crap. Well, if you would have told me that, then I would not have slept with her. It's calming up in sense, you idiot. I'm sorry. She says, you cheated on me with my best friend. Cheated? I didn't cheat on you. I said, this isn't cheating. She then says, I honestly believe that I deserve to be able to keep the open relationship on my end since you broke the rules, the unspoken rule. You should just chill out. I said, no, that's not going to happen. He was asking, well, what do you recommend then? Because this is what I want. I told her, divorce sounds good to me. What's going on, everybody? We are back with a subscriber email story, guys. If you want to send in a story, send it to truestorynation at gmail.com. Here, I'll put it on the screen. That's truestorynation at gmail.com. You guys read that title. Another one bites the dust. <laughs> Let's get into it. My ex-wife got extremely jealous of our open relationship that she proposed. We're now divorced. I've got a story for you. 37-year-old male here. I was married between the ages of 26 and 31. We divorced after my ex-wife got extremely jealous of our open relationship. I heard you say that women expect their men not to get anyone. In my case, that was true. My ex-wife flat out told me this, her words exactly. I didn't expect that you'd be with anyone, especially not my friend. Ooh, oh dang, savage. We got a savage here? We got a savage here. I was completely against the idea of opening my marriage. I didn't want this. I was happy with my wife. Our sex life wasn't even bad. In fact, it was great. It was always great. We dated for four years before we even got married. We were good friends who worked together. We are both MIG welders. People would tell us at work, why don't you two just get married? Because pretty much we'd come off like a couple when we truly weren't a couple before we were married. Truth is, She'd get extremely jealous when other girls would talk to me or she'd find out I was with another woman at our job or just dealing with another woman, period, outside of work. Every time a new woman would come work for the company and she was moderately attractive, my ex-wife would get very jealous. And this is before we were married, just friends. And at that time, I kind of found it cute in a way thinking, oh, wow, she really likes me. She'd come over to my place. She'd buy me things. Sometimes she'd buy food and come over and cook. One time she rearranged, she rearranged my entire living room. And in my mind, I'm thinking, wow, she really likes me. This is becoming more than just friendship. But at that time, I didn't have it in me to want to marry her. I thought it was fine. This is cool. We can just be friends. And if anything, we'll just end up dating. Until one day, she tells me she's in love with me. This was after a big blow up after work. A new girl at the job would come and talk to me all the time during breaks. She was flirting with me. This new girl really liked me. I never did anything with her, but my ex-wife went off on her. She actually got written up for it. It was a big blow up. There was going to be a fight, but it was broken up by everyone. And this is all before we got married or even got into a serious relationship. So that night, she came over. We ordered some food, tried watching a movie, but was talking about what happened earlier that day. And she tells me that she's in love with me 
and that she's always been in love with me, and she didn't want to push it because she didn't want to push me away. But she says I have to let you know now because I want to be with you exclusively. Just you and I. And I've never been some type of player guy and wanted to mess around with multiple women. I really was just single at the time and dealing with her. I was single and I liked our relationship. But in the back of my mind, I would love to be married and have kids at that time. Absolutely, I always wanted that. I came from a loving family. My parents are still married today. I have aunts and uncles that are still married today that have been married for a long time. So her saying this to me, my immediate thought was, wow, is she the one? We click so well. She really likes me. The way she was acting towards me, in my mind, this is how love is. This is how a woman would act if she wants to be with you and only you. Those stupid me said, I love you too. From there, we started dating exclusively. Everyone at work knew we were together. Family and friends would say, we assumed you guys were already together, but we made it exclusive and eventually moved in together. She moved into my place. It's so funny, actually. It's like she's already always lived there. She would always leave things there. Toothbrush, hairbrush, combs, and knowing what I know today, she would strategically do things like that. And I know she did it because just in case I had another woman over, she would leave strands of hair here and there in my bed and in my bathroom. It was just a lot of things I didn't know at the time, but listening to a lot of other channels, a lot of these red pill channels, it's mind blowing because I would say, wow, my ex before we were married would do the same things. She would come over, rearrange my furniture, buy things for my place, leave her comb and hairbrush and certain clothes here and there. She wanted other women to know that, that there's another woman here like marking her territory. Every young man should go to Red Pill University. There needs to be one, seriously. So after being exclusive for nine months and knowing each other and casually dating each other, somewhat for years, I was asking her to marry me. I say, why wait? She wants it. She says she wants it. I want it. This should work. In my mind, this is perfect. She and I forever? Eh, I can do it. Like I said, the bedroom amazing, never dropped off ever. We just clicked so well. We had fun together. We traveled, so many memories, so much fun. She is three years younger than me. The plan was to have some more fun together before trying to have kids. We were going to do that around the time she was 28. But ironically, that's when she all of a sudden was pushing for this open marriage. Things just went awry. We got married. It was great. Family and friends, everyone was there. It was an outside wedding. Beautiful, beautiful wedding. It was fun. Had a great time. Nothing like beer, good music, and cornhole on your wedding day. But like I said, great times during the marriage barely argued. I owned my place. We always stayed at that place. I no longer live there. I sold it two years ago when the market went crazy in a good way for sellers. Made a huge profit. I bought that house for $40,000. Yes, it was a rundown piece of crap. I put $10,000 into it. Did a lot of the work myself. Made it a nice place. Nice, comfortable place for me. It sold for $149,000. I still work as a MIG welder. I also own a roofing company with my buddy that makes us really great money. I honestly don't have to work a 9 to 5, but I choose to because I'd like to retire early. I save a lot of my money. I put a lot into my retirement. But one day, my wife's friend is over. We're hanging out, drinking, playing some card games. Just a usual Saturday. My wife's friend says, so, did you ask him? I'm looking a bit confused, and my wife says, no. I'm thinking, what are they talking about? So I ask, what are you guys talking about? My ex-wife's friend looks at her. My ex-wife grins and looks at me and says, Babe, would you ever have an open marriage? I said, an open marriage? Now guys, at this time, I have never heard of this. I didn't even know what she meant by an open marriage. So I ask, what do you mean open marriage? 
She says an open marriage is when each couple is allowed to date other people, sleep with other people, but there has to be rules set in place. I said, oh, swingers? You want to be a swinger, huh? I'm laughing. She says, yeah, I guess sort of like that. I said, why do you want this? What makes you want to sleep with other people? She says, what makes you think I want to sleep with other people? I was just asking you. I said, well, you would not have asked me this if it's not something you want it to do. Her friend steps in and says, well, I brought it up because this is something my boyfriend and I do, and it spices up our love life and sex. It's incredible between us now. I asked my ex-wife, is sex bad with me? Do you not like our sex life? She says, I love it. She says, I love it. It's amazing. So I ask, why would you want an open marriage? He says, well, we're young, you know, and before we have kids, I want us to have been able to experience a lot more. I was completely honest with her. I said, it kind of makes me feel like I'm not enough for you. And that bothers me a little bit. And she says, I can assure you there's nothing wrong with you at all. I just want to experience new things. But if you're not up for it, I'm not going to be up for it. And we can just let it go. I said, okay, how's this going to work if we did? Is it like temporary? This is something we're going to do every so often? She says, no, this is just a one-time thing for a period of time. She says, if we do decide to do it, let's just do it for a few months just to see, just to say we tried it. And if we don't like it, we don't like it. And we just move on, just something we experienced. Not really a big deal. I said, okay, so what are the rules? She says, well, for me, I'd say no one in the home, no one from work, safe sex, and honestly, I don't want to know any detail. What rules would you have, she says. I said, well, I guess the same. We both say, okay. I'm a little tipsy at the moment, and I'm thinking, what the heck did I just agree to? I take a drink. My ex-wife's friend says, let's toast to open marriage. He seems to be very excited about this, and I know why now. Eventually, we cranked the music up, and it was a fun night. We're excited, dancing, karaoke is happening. Jokes just fun times like usual. We would do this all the time. Then my ex-wife passes out. She's passed out on the couch, and her friend and I are talking. Her friend starts to get very touchy. I felt very weird about it. I said, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? She said, you're in an open marriage. Now you can do whatever you want. I said, I don't know. This seems a little... She stopped me and said, I thought you guys' rules were no details. He doesn't have to know. And I said, but not in our home either. She grabbed me and started to pull me outside. This is 4 a.m. in the morning. We go to her car and we did the do. We were making out in the back seat of the car. She had a truck, pretty large car. She's telling me how my wife told her everything about our sex life. She wants to know if it's true. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but we did the do. I felt very guilty at the time. I felt bad, but my wife said no details. When we got back inside, she was still asleep. Her friend went home that night. I grabbed my wife, put her in the bed, took a shower, and went to sleep. I woke up the next morning thinking, well, maybe this isn't too bad. I did enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend like, oh no, I cheated on my wife or slept with someone else because according to my ex-wife, it wasn't cheating. When she proposed it. Following Monday morning, my wife tells me that she's not coming home tonight. I said, why? She says, babe, we talked about this. No details. I thought, oh, okay. I still wasn't really used to this, but all right. That same day, I got a text from my ex-wife's friend asking if I wanted to come over tonight. With my ex-wife being gone, I said, why not? I didn't jump on some dating site trying to find people to sleep with, or I didn't just have an abundance of women to pull from, or just go pick up women at local stores, and things like that. No, it's like my wife's friend just fell into my lap, literally. 
This went on for some time, and I only dealt with my ex-wife's friend. It sounds so bad. But if she stated this in the rules, you can't deal with my friend or mess with my friends, then I would not have done it, and I probably wouldn't have gotten it in with anyone. I don't know who my wife slept with and how many she slept with, but I do know when she found out I was sleeping with her friend, all chaos broke loose. It was a late Saturday night. I was home all day playing Xbox, watching movies. Later that night, my ex-wife gets home. She's livid. She storms right up to me. You're a piece of crap. How dare you? I say, what? What did I do? You're effing Becca? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm looking at her saying, well, you were asking for this open marriage. We agreed to have an open marriage, but not with my friend, you piece of crap. Well, if you would have told me that, then I would not have slept with her. It's calming up in sense, you idiot. I'm sorry. She says, you cheated on me with my best friend. Cheated? I didn't cheat on you. I said, this isn't cheating. You were not supposed to sleep with her. You didn't state this in your rules, I said. You said nothing about me not being able to sleep with friends. She says, I mean, I would think it was a given. My ex-wife then says, I honestly didn't even expect you to get anyone. This was truly for me. I said, excuse me? So the whole our sex life is amazing thing is all, is that all fake? Is it made up? She said, no, but I honestly don't want to be tied down to just one person forever. I like to experience life. So I said, okay, you get to experience life as you put it, but me, no, I'm not supposed to, right? She says, it's not like that. You just don't understand. I ask her, I said, why did you want to marry me? Her response was, you asked me. So if I would have never asked you, you would have just kept the same relationship that we had? Just be friends and just dating casually or hooking up or even dating exclusively? She says, I don't know. So I ask her, so what do you ultimately want? You want a permanent open relationship? She says, not if you're going to be sleeping with my friends. She then says, I honestly believe that I deserve to be able to keep the open relationship on my end since you broke the rules, the unspoken rule. You should just chill out. I said, no, that's not going to happen. She was asking, well, what do you recommend then? Because this is what I want. I told her, divorce sounds good to me. She immediately starts tearing up. Are you freaking kidding me? You cheat on me? Now you want to divorce me? You're a piece of crap. I never should have married you. I wish I never met you. Do what you want to do. I don't care. She stormed out of the house. The next time she came home was to get her things with her father. The divorce didn't take long at all. She didn't want my crappy house, as she called it. She didn't want anything. It was an easy, quick divorce. I made a great profit on that crappy house. I was able to go into business with my buddy. My retirement looks amazing. I'm happy now. Will I ever get married again? Absolutely not. Would I suggest anyone get married? Nope. I don't think it's worth it. I'm okay with not having children. I have nieces and nephews. That's good enough. Keep up the good work. You got going on your channel, man. I love listening to these stories. I listen every single day now for the past three weeks. Not a day off. And you are consistent with posting. As a listener and subscriber, I will tell you I greatly appreciate that. Take care, good sir. Wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. Another one bites the freaking dust. I love it. I can't believe she said, I can't, I didn't expect you to get anyone. What? This was all for me. This was all for me. See how selfish they are? What do we say, guys? Whenever they're asking for an open relationship, they're already sleeping with someone, which I truly believe she probably was. She probably was sleeping with someone already. But it also sounds like her friend was happy for this. Maybe your wife brought it up to her, to the friend. No, the friend said she brought it up to the wife. 
her and her boyfriend had an open situation. It sounds like the friend really wanted you. Ah, because when you guys were together, she's telling you, well, you know, your ex-wife's telling me all about you, what you do in the bedroom, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, she wanted some of you. She wanted some. Of you. Look, man. Another one bites to dust. Your ex-wife came to you about this. You weren't even thinking about it. You weren't thinking about opening up any relationship, and you said you were happy. She wanted it, and it ended in disaster for her. I'm glad you didn't lose your house. I'm glad you, you, you made a, some good profit on your house. You know, you say you got a business going. I love hearing that stuff. Thanks for being a subscriber, man. And I try my, I try my best for years. I've tried my best for years to be consistent. Post every day, every day, man. So I, it's nice to hear somebody say they appreciate that. I'm glad you, you think so, man. So um, hopefully you stick around. And uh, I'll, I'll keep trying my best with being consistent. Guys, if you want to send in a story, send, in, send it to truestorynation at gmail.com. I'll put it on the screen. That's truestorynation at gmail.com. Let's check out another story. Me, 23 male, ex, 23 year old female, and I split up because she wanted an open relationship. Now she wants to start talking again. About a year and a half ago, me, 23-year-old male, girlfriend, 23-year-old female, told me she wanted to explore her options and broke up with me. She almost instantly got with another guy confirming my suspicions for her reasonings. She left me during a bad place in my life and completely cut communication after us already having been on and off for a year and what in my opinion was very toxic. I spent months trying to get over her and got better at dealing with it, but never truly was able to leave her behind. But I realized, at the very least, I deserve to respect myself enough to not chase after someone who doesn't want me in the same way, and so we haven't spoken in a long time. Yesterday, she was texting me after us being on our own for over a year, and just like I feared, my mind is instantly filled with doubts and desire to just run back into her arms. It was a toxic relationship, but she really made me feel loved on our good days when I was really having a hard time getting that feeling on my own. She wants to meet up and catch up, and honestly, I do too. But I don't know if it's healthy, if it's just out of loneliness, if I am just overthinking it, or if long term, it is the best choice for my sanity. I guess I would just really like to hear some other opinions on the matter. To sum everything up, my ex-girlfriend wants to meet up after breaking up with me a year ago, and I don't know what to do. I think realistically now I know that she isn't the right one for me long term, just because of how she treated me. I think it's just a combination of how I felt for her before, which was head over heels, and I'm, and I'm being completely transparent, being a bit lonely. I think one of the biggest reasons we were on and off for so long and why it's so hard now to just ignore these text messages is how easy and comfortable it was to run back to someone that I didn't have to start over with. I don't want to, I don't want to look back and regret settling. I get and agree with all of the things being said. I just think it's hard than I'd like to admit to, to act rationally rather than emotionally. I don't meet her. <laughs> oh my gosh you guys it's okay to be alone it's okay to be alone it's okay to be by yourself you don't need this this woman clearly disrespected you i want an open relationship it's it doesn't even actually it doesn't even sound like she was asking for an open relationship let's see told me she wanted to explore her options and broke up with me yeah, so it sounds like the way you told it about a year and a half ago, my girlfriend told me she wanted to explore her options and broke up with me. So I don't know if you just left out some parts. You know, she came to you and said, hey, I want an open relationship. You weren't feeling it. So she broke up with you or she just told you, hey, I want to explore my options. We're done or just and just broke up with you. Either way, however it went, it's over.
She's a done. She's done. You did so good by realizing I can't go chasing her. She doesn't want me. I can't go chasing her. She doesn't want me. Exactly. You knew this. But you got a little lonely. I trust me. I get it. But you're 23. I, 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 I do get it. Even though you moved on and she comes reaching back out. Hey, maybe sending you sexy videos, a sexy picture, whatever it is. I've been through it. You kind of think like, well, what if I just, you know, well, it's just where it's just a talk, you know, or I'll just smack. It's not worth it. I promise you it's not worth it. Hopefully they're in the comments telling you the same thing and you listened. Let's check out the comments. The world is too large for you to go back to BS unless you want to. That ship has sailed. Believe me, there's someone out there you want that wants you and not all that silly crap in between. How many times are you going to let the same girl break your heart? She's only talking to you because it didn't work out with the other guy she left you for. When the next guy comes along, she is going to leave you feeling the same way you did when she left the last time. You know, I am, you know, and I know that she isn't the one you want to spend your life with. And tell her to go F off. Do not talk to her. Don't meet her. You have already been through the whole thing and now don't put yourself through it again. You deserve a better and non-toxic relationship. Absolutely. Who is to say that she will not get the hots for another guy and leave again, leaving you even worse. No contact is your best option. You will get over it. We all do eventually. Absolutely. Guys, let's check out another post. From the real Mr. Bean. My girlfriend, female 25, was asking me, male 26, for an open relationship after one year. Me, male 26, and my girlfriend, female 25, have been together for almost a year, and so far it has been incredible. We have a lot in common, and we rarely fight mostly because I hate fighting and just make sure that we talk about everything calmly. However, out of nowhere, she was asking me if I would be open to have an open relationship, and I said it's something that I would never think about. I've been having a lot of tough nights lately because of that. And it happened after she went out with some, some of her friends. I trust her completely, but our relationship started with something similar. Even though she was not in a relationship, she was seeing another guy at the time that she ended up leaving for me. Her reason to have an open relationship is, I don't want to have any regrets and I want to explore and try new things while I'm young. And that's what scares me. The fact that she's definitely already has something and someone in mind from people that had from people that had this experience before any advice or what's your experience? I truly do believe she hasn't done anything yet. However, knowing there's someone else that she wants to F scares me for the future of the relationship. Dude. <laughs> Dude, if you don't dump this girl, she is playing you, sir. She, she, tr trust me, she's been getting her back blown out. And of course she's got somebody lined up. That's what that means. I want an open relationship. I've either been I've either been effing someone or I want to F someone. We all know this. Let's check out the comments on this. This never ends well. Pack a bag and leave. She already has. Absolutely. Everyone I know who gets into an open relationship because they think they're missing out is now divorced. It, it's just a long, traumatic goodbye. I'd call it a day if I were you. She already knows who she wants to bang or already has and opening the relationship to re relieve her guilt. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's over, somebody said. Dude, find someone who values you, cherish you, and wants you. Let the streets have her. You will end up resenting her. Plus, you have to worry about STDs, and there is no peace in a relationship like this if you don't want this. 
look look right at her and tell her to just go f the guy she wants to f but to never ever call you again she needs to know you're not stupid you know she has someone in mind if you say okay she will immediately immediately go f that guy and then you will immediate immediately be the backup plan tell her bye LMAO, another love stick, clueless guy that has to learn the hard way. It's, it, it's sad that there's guys that ugh, go through this, man. It's sad. Like, I, I've, I've been silly before. I've been silly and didn't catch red flags and stuff. But, man, I just read these stories a lot of times. I would just wake up. You know, they'll be in the comments talking about, oh, well, I don't know. I don't I'm like what? If you are not into it, it will not end well. She isn't ready to settle down. Probably best to move on. Asking for an open relationship is just a poor excuse to cheat. If you have self-respect, break up with her. If you seek monogamous relationships, it's time to come to terms with a breakup. At best, she fulfills her desires and test drives every car she wants and decides you were that you were the best she could do. At worst, she finds something new and moves on while you provide all the other needs in her life until then. Yep. The fact that she has made the proposal is an indication that she is probably going to do it anyway. She just wants to test the waters with you so she can judge how she needs to plan her future. Absolutely. Run as fast as you can. Those relationships always end in disaster. Yep. Your relationship is over, dude. She has someone in mind already. She is asking for permission to cheat. The second one person, the second one person in a monogamous relationship is asking for the relationship to be open. The relationship is over. Nope. Let her explore on her own. She wants you to be a backup plan. Absolutely. You guys all know. Here's OP here. I was looking for you, sir. Thanks for the advice, he says. So guys, let me know what you think about both stories in the comments. Catch you guys at the next one.